Hey guys, it's Naomi from LiveLoveLifeFit.com and today we are starting a brand new series on my YouTube. I'm going to be sharing with you different treat meals that I make for me and my family, but they're all plant-based, so perfect. So today we are making nachos. I mean, not like regular nachos. These are amazing, delicious nachos. So if you are interested in learning how to make these amazing nachos, keep watching. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So you're gonna need one packet of beefless grounds. These are Gardein, but my favorite is from Beyond Meat. You can find this next to the frozen vegetable section. You're also going to need four kinds of beans. Kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, and northern beans. All I did was soak these in water to get any of the extra sodium out. Also, two cans of tomato sauce. So right now I'm just giving it a stir before I go ahead and put it into the stove top. Make sure everything is nice and mixed in there. Get the sauce all up in everything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings to it. So this is actually gonna make more than what you're going to need for your nachos. However, this is perfect to eat on its own, to put some um, green onions and just eat it as a chili for dinner, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my seasonings. So the first seasoning I wanna start off with is chili powder. So when it comes to measuring the seasonings for the chili, I would at least add a tablespoon. We've also adding a tablespoon of onion powder. You can just play with it. Sometimes I'll add more, it really depends. So this is paprika, tablespoon or more. It's all up to you, girl. We got cayenne pepper. Mm-hmm, I like a little spice, you know. <laughs> Coriander. <laughs> These are like the seasonings that I add pretty much for everything. Garlic powder, of course. Oh, you know, the Cholula was coming, right? I would just go ham. If you like spicy, I would just keep adding, girl, just keep adding. <laughs> And liquid smoke, man, does this make a difference in your chili. So after I put all the seasonings in there, all I'm gonna do is stir everything and then I'm gonna place it on the stove top um, for about 20 minutes till everything gets nice and hot. Your oven should be on at 400 degrees because that's, uh, we're gonna, when everything is said and done, we're gonna put everything, we're gonna layer it and then put it in the oven. All right, everything looks good. Now I'm gonna place it in the stove top for about 20 minutes. So let's make some cheese with a cup of cubed potatoes, half a cup of chopped carrots, fourth of a cup sunflower oil, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of tomato paste, some jalapenos and a juice, fourth of a cup of cashew milk, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one and a half teaspoon of arrowroot powder. I just threw it everything in my amazing blender, my Vitamix, and it comes out just the way you want it, nice and warm and Look at this, look at this, yes. All right, so let's try this vegan nacho cheese. And it tastes so freaking good, oh my God. Yummy, time for some guacamole. So I peeled three avocados and chopped up some cilantro. I also chopped up some red onions, which is my favorite for guacamole, and one Roma tomato. We're also going to use the juice of a lime. Now, when it comes to my seasonings, I like to use garlic salt, chili lime, and paprika. You can find the chili lime at Trader Joe's. So, you can either mash up your guacamole with a fork, but I just like to get in there with my hands and just squeeze it together. This way I can kind of get a feel for how much longer I have to keep going if I feel any chunks and all that good stuff. So, I like it that way, but I don't know. That's my preference, but do you, girl? Bam, look at that guacamole. So, now we're gonna add some juice. 
So let's go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Here I'm adding up the chopped onions, the cilantro, and the tomatoes. It is all up to you. It's your preference on how much you want to add in your guacamole. I like my guacamole pretty chunky with yummy ingredients in it, so that's why I add so much of it. But you can, man, you can add less of whatever you like. It's all up to you. So when it comes to the seasonings, I would also add at least one and a half teaspoons of each. I think that's a good starting point. This way, if you decide that you want to add a little more garlic salt or whatever it is that you want to, you can. This is just a good starting point. Now for the fun parts, when we get to put all of these yummy ingredients together to make something even more delicious. So you're going to need a dish to layer everything on. I have used a 33 by 23 and 5 centimeters deep dish before, and then this is my first time using this dish. This is just something that you bake cookies on. Um, these are my favorite tortilla chips. These are old Florida gourmet tortilla chips, and I think they're made in Stewart. Woohoo! Go Stewart! Anyways, so you can use any types of chips that you like. These are my favorite. I think they just last with that crunchiness so you want to layer the chili on top and then you just want to make sure there is no space left like you just want to load it up so what i'm doing here is i'm just making sure that i get the bottom of this nice and covered with this chili that no chips are left untouched with this amazing chili all right, looks good to me. So now we're gonna start adding our toppings. So now that we've got the first layer of the chili done, we're gonna drizzle, look at this delicious nacho cheese. There's really no measurements here. I would just make sure to leave some for at the end if you want to add some extra on the top of your nachos. Then we're going to layer the sour cream. I made my own sour cream and I'll leave the link in the description box on how I made it, but you can also buy your own sour cream from Follow Your Heart. And I found that on my local market as well, near the yogurt section. We've got the chili, we've got the cheese, we've got the sour cream. It is time for some guacamole, ladies and gentlemen. After layering the guacamole, I like to layer up some salsa. This is medium heat salsa. And then I also like to add some jalapenos because I like some spicy nachos. So next thing I'm gonna add is some green onions. This is the last topping. You can also add some shredded lettuce here. I probably would like to add some shredded lettuce. Actually, this sounds really good. And let's see, just throw a little everywhere else. And these nachos look amazing. All right, guys, so that's how I make my amazing vegan and delicious and delicious nachos. I'm gonna leave everything below and all the links to how I made my sour cream and my nacho cheese, all the links to that. I hope you try this out and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, stay motivated, eat healthy, and stay active.